Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, welcome back to my Final Fantasy III Let's Play. Uh, I'm Mike of Team Brothership, flying solo as usual just to do my chill, easygoing Let's Play of one of my favorite games. Uh, so, if you're joining us shortly after the end of our last episode, I'm actually kind of recording this back-to-back because... I just didn't want to end on a bummer note, <laughs> because as you'll recall, the uh, the last episode ended with the world ending, basically. Uh, so kind of a kind of a bummer. We failed to stop the apocalypse. Uh, we did stop Geshtal, or actually Kefka did. Kefka killed Emperor Geshtal, but then seized the power of the goddess statues for himself, and just out of pure spitefulness, destroyed the world. Uh, and now we've awoken with Celis on this tiny island in a ramshackle shed hanging out with uh, Dr. Sid from the Magitech Research Facility. Uh, and he's not in great shape. So we will be playing a mini game in a moment, uh, my least favorite one in the entire game. But first, I just wanted to show you all something. So we're getting into a random encounter here with peepers. And uh, I'm not even going to do anything. I'm just going to kind of sit here and see what happens. Well, they have no magic to cast spells, and they just die. Um, and you can walk around a little bit more. Um, some uh, some environmental storytelling, as you hear from uh, the Dark Souls community. Uh, you can tell that the world is not doing well because the animals just up and die. <laughs> um, yeah, so, anyway. Uh, right now, oops, actually, let me put one Esper on her. Uh, I'm actually going to put Bismarck on because that'll give her a nice strength boost. Uh, so right now what we have to do is... Uh, Sid is sick, so we have to help him recover. And we are going to do that by catching fish. Uh, the reason that I hate this is because there's an element of randomness of it. So you saw we just grabbed that... Uh, get back in bed, you sick bastard. Oh, stop being a big baby. Uh, we grabbed that fast fish. Now we have to just keep going back and forth from the beach and grabbing these fish. Uh, you'll notice some of them are fast, some of them are kind of mediocre, and some of them are slow. Um, we want to give Sid the fast fish, because they will uh, they will heal him. And you'll notice... oh, come on. The more fish we give him, his dialogue will start to get better. Uh, well, see, no fast fish. It's random how many fish there are. If we give him the fast fish, he'll heal. We give him the mediocre fish, uh, it'll keep him stable. Uh, if we give him the, the slow fish, it will actually make him sicker. Uh, so we want to focus on the fast fish, but like I said, there's an element of randomness to it. We can see if we go into the rare items, we have a, a yummy fish. There's also rotten fi like basic fish and rotten fish. We want to focus on the yummy fish. There we go, okay. But uh, because it's random, you kind of can't affect everything. And sometimes you don't get any fast fish. Uh, sometimes you get... I want to make sure I grab the right one. Come on. No, not you. Get over here. There we go, okay. Um, you you can just get slow fish. And they uh, they only reset each time you give him a fish. So, uh, you can kind of be forced into giving him slow fish uh, until he dies. I've had that happen before. Uh, and that, that is what will happen, too. He, this minigame, which is super irritating and kind of long, determines the fate of Sid. Uh, if you keep giving him fast fish, and it takes quite a few. Uh, if you, well, yeah, here we go. We just have, that looks like a mediocre fish. Just a fish, yeah, that's fine. Uh, if we give him enough yummy fish, he will recover, and he'll survive. Uh, 
if we give him too many rotten fish or we don't feed him, oh, see, yeah, like now we just have to go talk to him. And if you don't give him anything, he also gets sicker. Um, so he lost a little bit of health on that one. No, oh, yeah, that's a rotten fish. So yeah, see, we're <laughs> being forced. He's going to start declining. Um, yeah, not for much longer. Oh, come on. All right, that's a mediocre fish there, so we'll try to grab that. Uh, so this mini game can be over in a couple of minutes, or uh, it can take quite a while. I'm, I'm hoping for <laughs> a couple of minutes. Oh yeah, see, he's he's declined. He's dropped back down to the last. Oh come on, damn it! it canonically, he usually dies. Um, and he's just gone forever. But um, I don't like to do that because it's a huge bummer. Now get out of the way, bird. You can't grab the bird, unfortunately. Um, I think most players, when they do this, just give him the garbage fish and kill him so they can move on with the game. Uh, okay, he's back up to the slightly better bracket. Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't worry, folks. If this gets really bad, uh, I'll just edit this out, and we'll we'll just move ahead once I've healed him. I'm not going to grab any of those rotten fish. It's going to be one of those times. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky and you just get five or six yummy fish and you're you're out of here and on with the rest of the game. Uh, and sometimes you don't. Yeah, he's just gonna be stuck forever at that health level. Oh Christ! All right, <laughs> just I'm just gonna cut this out. So uh, we'll we'll be back momentarily. Okay, we're back. I th think we're just about done. Oh, yes, okay. So, actually, that wasn't that bad. <laughs> right after I said I was going to edit things, uh, the game decided to take pity on me and give me a whole bunch of yummy fish. So I was able to heal him back up right quick. So now we're, we're moving on with our game. And Sid is going to reveal his secret project. What, what scientific wonder has this genius cooked up for us it's a raft made out of logs amazing <laughs> oh Sid um, so yeah Sid survives now and you can periodically come back to visit him on the island. Um, he doesn't do <laughs> anything, though. I've always felt a little weird about that. Like, yeah, you, you can come back and visit him for the rest of the game, and he'll just chat with you a little bit, and, and that's it. You can't... Uh, he never joins your party. You can't bring him back to civilization <laughs> or anything. Um, which, yeah, spoilers. Everybody is not dead, because that would make for a rotten game, but we're going to take this raft castaway style uh, across the entire ocean to try and find our friends. Yeah, there's a town. We made it. Okay, but I am going to save because I don't want to do that damn fishing minigame again. It sucks. <laughs> um, and I'm definitely going to save Scum a lot, too, because um, there's a lot of enemies here that can use real nasty status effects, like, ah, oh, jeez, alright. Um, 
that can like uh, paralyze you or petrify you or uh, just kill you outright. Uh, and that's a real bummer. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping we can get our second party member real fast, because uh, Final Fantasy III was not designed to be fought, uh, played solo. Oof, that's no good. Yeah, I don't really want to just die right here. I may actually switch out. I put on the Atma weapon, but I might switch that back out because uh, the Atma weapon is eff um, affected by your health. And since I'm going to be taking quite a beating flying solo, uh, its effectiveness is going to be constantly deteriorating. Um, yeah, these these battle. You know, I might actually, um, well, I'm gonna heal so I don't die, but uh, I might actually equip the old charm bangle at this point, because I just, I don't want to be getting into a lot of fights until I get a second party member. Uh, I do want to start boosting Celis' level in the not-too-distant future, but uh, I, I don't really want to be doing it while I'm flying solo. There we go. Okay. Good times. Well, you know what, I'm gonna just sneak into this town real quick. Alright. Sure didn't. So, Kefka has some kind of tower, apparently. Yeah, so the, the, uh, the end of the world kind of rearranged everything. You buy a couple of smoke bombs, you will learn why. In not too distant future, oh, actually, well, the five warp stones is fine. Um, we got a ton of money right now from the floating continent. Oh, get out of the way. Yeah, so this is Albrook. Um, <laughs> uh, back when I used to write for GameSpite, uh, Jeremy Parrish used that as my author. I didn't get back to him fast enough, so he used that as my author byline at one point. Uh, yep, so Kefka is sitting in a garbage tower just using magic. No, I didn't mean to talk to this guy because we get a lengthy flashback. Uh, he's remembering back when his establishment was full of drunken, rowdy soldiers and women of the evening. What a paradise. Ooh. He's talking about the new normal, I guess. It's hitting a little too close to home. I don't think there's... Well, there's. I'm definitely going to stop by the uh, weapon shop and the armor shop, because I do think they sell some better gear. There's some better relics, too, but nothing that I need right now. And like I said, I'm going to unequip the sprint shoes when I'm on the map. Well, there's a little tip for... Uh, I look like a man. How dare you? North to Sen. Yes, I do want to stay. I've been sleeping on a dirty raft for several months as I sailed back to civilization. Yeah, I mean, that, that trip, from our perspective, goes very quickly, but I have to imagine that it was quite a bit lengthier for Celis. Alright, it's, uh... I don't think you can sail anywhere at the moment. I don't think we want to, actually. Yeah, there's nobody on the docks. Hey, it's the old Magitek ship. Right, let's buy some more gear. Uh, or not, because it's <laughs> they don't have anything good. Uh, oh, I forgot this guy. The Emperor. Uh, <laughs> So there's another little tip. Uh, there's a portrait of the Emperor in uh, in Auser's. Remember Auser, the art dealer from Jidor? Oh, so a bunch of monsters got unsealed, that's cool. Don't touch the fire, kids. 
Light of Judgment. That sounds also ominous. Oh, they're selling the uh, elemental weapons, which... Oh, I already talked to you. Yeah, well, I'm <laughs> swinging one of the Atma weapons and I killed the other one on the floating island. Why does everyone keep saying Celis looks like a man? I mean, gender nonconformity is certainly fine, but I, I don't think that's what Celis is going for. Uh, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to switch out to one of the um, elemental weapons for right now. Alright, so we got to go to Zen. Uh, as they, they instructed us. Oh, I'm going to put on that... Uh, uh, where is it? Charm Bangle. Because uh, I don't want to be getting in fights right now. Oops. No, I don't want the Morning Star. Oh, actually. Hmm. Maybe I do. Alright, we'll leave that on for the time being. It hits a little harder than the elemental weapons. Uh, so there's Kefka's Tower. This is the site of our final battle, just FYI. Uh, but right now, we are going to Sen. There it is. Now oh, we made it there unscathed. That's cool. Uh, now I am going to put the sprint shoes back on. Because we're going to really need them momentarily. Uh, and you know what? I am going to equip one of those elemental weapons. Because I think I'm going to want it. Cult of Kefka. A lot of great stuff's been going on in the... Oh, no. I'm sure that's fine. They can wait while I look around. Hey, Super Bowl. That sounds fun. Uh, just give me a minute here. I just want to <laughs> check, see if there's anything cool that I can buy. Ooh, Kaiser Claw. A lot of weapons for Sabin, for some reason. I wonder what that's about. All junk. Okay, fine, fine. Now, what's the problem? Must have irritated Kefka. Oh, the Light of Judgment. Actually, hey, it's Sabin. <laughs> oh, fine. All right, so we got six minutes to. Oh, jeez. And we do not want to waste time with these idiots. Remember how I bought those smoke bombs? not have time to do all that fighting. Heal rod, cool, cool. Uh, I think there's something in there that I want. Uh, should have moved the smoke bombs to the top of the order. That's fine. Just keep, keep on running away. Hoping that I don't get petrified. Pearl rod, we also want that. Uh, why I bought all those smoke bombs. Uh, this is one of the few instances, usually in most of the timed segments, you, you do have plenty of time to get in and out. Uh, this is the one where you don't. <laughs> you do need to kind of haul ass through here. Yeah. yeah. These fellows we do have to kill, unfortunately, if we want that sweet, sweet treasure. super fun, but we can take them down quickly with uh, dual wielding. No, stop wasting my time. Yeah, you, you can run out of time pretty quickly here. So we want to just waste these individuals with, with haste. So we can take those delightful weapons and contents of that, that chest. Because there's some 
decent, perhaps not astounding, treasure in here. What do we get? What do we get? Oh, nothing. Really? Oops. Yeah, that was a waste of time. I think I can. I think I can use an uh, a warp stone to get out of here when I'm done. If not, that's gonna be a problem. But it's fine. Magicite. All right, kid. Let's let's boogie. We gotta we gotta skedaddle. And try not to get turned to stone. Running shoes would be useful in this instance as well, but uh, can only equip a few things at once, so. I can probably just bail, but I. If there is something in here, I don't want to lose it. point we might as well kill the last one. And thankfully this is not one of the Final Fantasy games where you get long-term you know, waste of time. Uh, this is not one of the Final Fantasy games where you get... Okay, that was good. Can I... Nope, I can't. Crap. <laughs> okay. Well, we're just gonna keep using those smoke bombs and uh, hope we can scooch thought for some reason I could do that, but I can't, so... Alright, enough of your nonsense. Mm, I might have wanted to, uh, re-equip that charm bangle, but... It's gonna be a little bit of a squeaker, but... I think we can manage. Thankfully these monsters are all... I think those hermit crabs are the ones that cast all the petrify magic. Oh, come on. Ooh, that's bad. Because uh, they're all gonna get to act first. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Messing around either because they do keep you. Uh, oh, come on! Where's the friggin' door? Okay. <laughs> Get out of the way, you chumps! Whew! Well, not too bad. I guess we had a minute to spare. Sabin. This is the moment that helps Celis rally, because she's found Sabin, so she knows the others must be here as well. <laughs> it's good. It makes sense that Sabin's the first one you grab, because he's the least capable of being demoralized, I think, of the entire team. So, we're going to do a little bit of shuffling right now, because... Uh, I need the hero ring on her, so she can be a little more efficient. No, I'm going to keep that, uh, and I'm going to put the, you know what, uh, okay, yeah, I'm going to put the running shoes and the sprint shoes on him, and then when we get back on the map, um, I'm going to, you know what, and I will put that, uh, zone seek on him so he can keep getting his magic boosted.
Hmm, sounds like things are not good in Mobliz. Thanks for saving the child. Is that his name? The child. It's not the Mandalorian thing. I don't know. <laughs> Snan hiding in the woods looking for gossip about the apocalypse. I, I don't know, buddy. Uh, yeah, I don't need any of that junk. Alright. Time to go find the rest of our friends. Actually, how's my... Alright, we'll stay at the inn again. <laughs> we want to keep our magic up. So our goal right now is basically to recover all of our party members and uh, get them geared up so that we can... You know, yeah, no good from... Yikes. Sounds good. <laughs> nice one, buddy. Alright. So we're heading to Ikea to get some cheap furniture. I know I've made that joke before. I don't care. I stand by it. Where'd the charm bangle go? There it is. Alright. Uh, having Sabin back is a huge, huge uh, boon because he is very strong uh, and his attacks don't use MP. And just having a second party member is hugely helpful because uh, we can't just get one-shotted <laughs> if we get a bad status effect. So there's there's a world of difference between sell us on our own and uh, sell us in one other party member. Uh, it's going to be a little while before we get a third one, but we're going to make a few token efforts to uh, see how far along that path we can get today. giving us any magic points. Actually, that might be because um, I'm not trying to... I don't have anybody that can learn anything, I suppose. I could learn things, but uh, it, it's, they don't really need those extra spells, and I don't want to have to be switching a bunch of espers around. The stat boosts are more important. Yeah, you can see in the background, too, like everything just kind of looks like crap right now. It's a, it's a bad time. Alright, so story progression is to the left, but we are going to head right. So we are heading towards Mobliz, which, uh, yeah, those folks told us had been obliterated. You know, I don't know. No, all these stupid things. Alright, let's see if I can not mess up the fire dance. The fire dance should take out those little guys. The buffalo axes pack a bit more of a. A wallop. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, we're making much better time with Sabin. His uh, crowd control makes a big difference. I'm hoping we can at least recruit our third party member in this video, but we shall see. Yeah, I may regret going through the forest instead of around. Horrible does. Uh oh. Ah, well, <laughs> there you go. I know people had wondered what Imp did, and, and there it is. Uh, and we're gonna unimp ourselves. Slow, great. Ooh, zombie! Oh, crap. Ooh, that's not good. 
hoping that he attacked the right. Where's my Reba final? I don't have too many of those. Yikes. Is he still slowed? Yeah, zombie. Um, you know, I'm not really going to talk about that right now, but it's a, it's a doozy of a status effect. I'll tell you. Uh, I don't really need. <laughs> so the reason that I was buying all those smoke bombs, I, I don't really need anymore for most of the rest of the game. But it's fine. All right, Mobla's. Drop a save here. Head on in. Oh, and I can uh, put the sprint shoes back on so we're not toddling around. Uh oh, we're attacked by dogs. Oh no, we're under attack. Thankfully, these are the uh, useless kind of attack dogs. Well, this is the house that the uh, wounded soldier was in. I'm sure he's fine. Probably made a full recovery and went off and married his girlfriend. Uh, we're going to take a quick nap here to get some hit points back. Yeah, Mobiliz is looking a little worse for wear, seeing as how the only person I saw was a, a child. And it's about a quarter the size that it used to be. Hey, and there's a door where there used to be a pile of boxes. <laughs> well, okay. Guess we're gonna beat up some kids. Hey, it's Terra! It's Terra, look at that. One of our mama. Oh, this is interesting. Interesting. Hey, remember Dwayne and Katerin? Or Katarina? Oh. Sorry. The lady with the wounded uh, boyfriend. So, it's just children left here. Uh-oh. Get a flashback. I mean, obviously she didn't see this since she was on our ship being blown to smithereens. But, uh, yeah, this is what happened to Mobiliz. All the adults fell into a big hole. Like the pit from Parks and Rec. Well, so that's uh, 
that's it for Terra. She's had enough of fighting. So, I guess we're done here. I'm just going to uh, casually change the uh, relic on Sabin. No, no, no reason. Just, uh, you know, why not? Fun Baba. That sounds ominous. Terra's battle po pose. Oh, there we go. Uh, sure, no problem. We we got this, right? Great. Oh, man. Ooh. Okay. Well, that's going to be a problem because I definitely have a bolt blade on Celis. So. Change my weapons here. Uh, you know what? Just do it this way. Celis can be our shield while Sabin does all the brawling. Oh, come on! I. Ugh. That's... that's BS. <laughs> I did Runic specifically to avoid that happening. No, I'm just gonna keep blasting this guy with, uh, Aura Bolts. Kind of a cool design to him. He looks like this weird uh, spiky ogre fellow. Uh -oh. yeah, he's got a lot of bolt magic. I, is it poison that this guy's weak to? Sorry, I'm blanking. It's not bolt, I'll tell you that. So you probably noticed during the dialogue with uh, Terra that nobody's name came up. So y you can actually do this part really at, at any point. Um, and it's just there's a... Uh, you get something kind of neat from doing this, so... Alright, yeah, get out of here, you big jerk. Drove him away. <laughs> and Tara got the snot kicked out of her. You sure have, lady. You had the advantage with your super beefy morph ability. Yeah, so uh, Tara is staying here. Um... But we'll be back. This isn't this isn't the end of Terra's story. It's just not time for her to. Ah, here we go, Fenrir. That is a very useful piece of magicite. Which, uh, oops. MP plus thirty, not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna. How's everybody's level doing? Oh, <laughs> no, I'm not going to put that on her. <laughs> Whoops. We want to uh, get a nice strength boost. 
We can, uh... We can equip... Sabin with Fenrir for right now. Fenrir teaches, uh... X-Zone. Which is a very, very useful ability. But yeah, that's it for right now. Terra stays, and we're, we're off on our next adventure. Fenrir has kind of become one of the recurring, bigger uh, Final Fantasy summon spells. It's the, you know, the wolf. He's from Norse mythology, I think. He's like the wolf that eats the moon or something. Ooh. Oh, I changed my mind. I found a Chocobo stable. <laughs> We're out of here. Hell yeah. Oh man, I never knew that was there. See, you learn something. This is one of those games that's like Symphony of the Night. Or Final Fantasy Tactics. You learn something new every time, so... No more getting obliterated by monsters. We're gonna... Ride a chocobo all the way to Nikea. Look at that. Which is good, because there were a couple things that I wanted to comment on on the way there. Uh, one of which will be coming up shortly. Alright. Where is it? So there is a tower right around here. We're going to be able to see the tower right there. This is the Fanatics Tower, where the Cult of Kefka is located, as those folks said. Um, so we can't get in there now, as you saw, it was surrounded by mountains. You know, this desert is murder. Um, so we can't get it in there now, but we will be going back there in the not-too-distant future. Oops. Thanks, Chocobo. That saved me quite a bit of time. Sprint shoes back on him. I do miss that uh, hold down the button to run thing. Let's get into Nikea. Sad, yeah, uh, mopey music. I think there's some better gear here, though. Okay, lady. Stay at the end, get my hit points back. You bet. Shoot, we never bought... You know, well, that's my fault. We never bought any better weapons for uh, Savin. Eh, whatever. Yes, we do want that. I don't know if that's better than the Brake Blade. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's quite a bit better. Well, a little bit better. Yeah, we'll buy another one of those. Break blade's useful, but uh, battle power is more important right at the moment. Eventually, we'll be using that uh, Atma weapon. Get some better gear here, maybe. Diamond shield sounds useful. Yeah, uh, grab one of those. And two of those. Kind of pricey, but uh, needs must.
thieves, you say? Hmm, some decent stuff he's selling. No, they sold Zephyr Caves. I thought those were rare. Oh well. Bunch of thieves. So thieves escaped, uh... They escaped from Figaro Castle Prison. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Hmm. Doesn't seem to want to acknowledge us. No, get out of the way. <laughs> You figure Savin would have something more to say to him. Gerard. Not even Gerard. Gerard. <laughs> He's developed an English accent. sense something. Hiding out on a ship. Now I think I'm going to regret buying that equipment here because I think we get even better equipment in a moment. We get to South Figaro. Hiding right next to this guy. Very inconspicuous. Chase this fellow. Have a chat with him. At least they have the happy music playing, so things can't be that bad in this town. And yeah, all things considered, uh, South Figaro seems to have emerged fairly unscathed. Hey, it's this guy again. Taking the bait. Good relics. Nope. Not even worth looking at. We'll poke around for a second. We can chat with people. I think that might have been the wrong sprite. Inspiring with the Empire. Sure changed your tune. Jump on the turtle. That sounds like Super Mario Brothers nonsense to me. 
All right, we're gonna check our equipment and then boogie on out of here. Oh, get out of the way, <laughs> for God's sakes. Good spears, Edgar equipment. Yeah, that's what I meant. I wanted to buy diamond armor for Celis, not uh, a vest, but that's okay. We'll get some use out of that vest eventually. Yeah, there's a few things to do here, but I... Yeah, things in Figaro seem to be uh, <laughs> a bit better than in some of the other towns. Oh, Duncan's alive, you say. Remember Duncan from way back at the beginning of the game? The... Uh, The martial arts master that trained uh, Sabin. I think that's his house over here. Interesting. Well, something to think about for sure. Alright, let's get out of here and get on with our adventure. We're gonna. I'm going to try to do it. Hopefully this tends to drag out all of these episodes, but uh, I'm going to try to get our third party member. Now look at this fellow. Remember this guy? Yeah, the... Uh, Monsters have become quite a bit more offensive uh, <laughs> since we were last here. These freaky mutants now. Ah, uh, good old fire dance. It's so important right now. How's everybody's level doing? Everybody's about to get a level up, so we want to make sure they've got their uh, correct espers equipped. So I think um, I think this is the last point where you know, these guys. I think this is the last point where if you haven't collected the treasures in this cave now, they're like the the best they can be. But it's nothing that great. It's just some more consumables, gold shield. Nope. Nobody gained a level from that one. I'm not even going to bother looking around. I want to get through here quickly. I'm not really sure what the Dante reference has to do with anything. There we go. Savin gained a level. Wait, wasn't Celis gaining a level too? Oh, no. Trick revealed at last. Um, so yeah, spoilers, that is Edgar. And uh, oh, here's Siegfried again. Uh, I'm not sure if the implication is supposed to be that that's his turtle from <laughs> back in the day, which is uh, it's just kind of cute. For this, come on, get your ass back here. There we go. Oh, all the treasure chests are empty. Disappointment. Uh, I'm trying to remember if there's anything weird here. There are a few very good treasures coming up shortly, uh, but. Dumb. Um, but they're not in this part of the cave, anyways. And there's a super crummy boss that we get to fight 
at the end of all this. But... Oh nice, she learned that automatically, I guess. Um, let's see, is there any magic that she doesn't know that would be useful? I guess haste. She's not gonna gain a level again for a little while, so... a confusion thing. Yeah, when, when you've only got a tiny party, uh, status effects suddenly become a significant issue. Nice. Good job, Celis. I guess I didn't need to do Fire Dance since there's only one of them left. like it. Well, we can't really go anywhere else, so we're heading down here. Oh, apparently it was really awful, whatever it was. <laughs> Alright. Well, I bet this guy's gonna say it was awful, so you know what? I'm just gonna let him talk about how awful it was to himself. Oh, come on, I got it right that time. Maybe these are the guys that you can get the really good uh, weapon from. Gravity Rod, Crystal Helm, that's a keeper. That is a very, very good piece of gear. guys with a uh, fire. Oh, damn it. All right, we'll get him on the next round. Don't worry. Urgh, that blows. All right, can we get that cure spell off without her dying? You know what? That should kill the other three. Can she? Ah, damn it. <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna bring her back. We should be able to get this guy. Oh, come! All right, just, just tap him, just hit him with anything. No. <laughs> Apparently not with anything, that didn't do it. Okay, all right. Okay, Regal Crown. That is the best... Well, best is always debatable, but that is the best helmet for uh, either Sabin or Edgar. And since Sabin's who I've got in the party... Oh, come on. Since Sabin's who I've got in the party right now, Sabin is who is getting it. Sort these guys out, Sabin. I think we're almost to the end here. Uh, there's no save point in here, but I'm going to. Just uh, switch out some relics here. I 
think this is it. Yes. Uh, is everybody healed? Because this boss can get a little rough. Looks like you've got uh, leaves blowing about. is going to sacrifice himself for his new thief buddies. <laughs> okay. This is a uh, kind of a rough fight. Thankfully, we've got um no. Oh. <laughs> if I keep goofing those fire dances up, this is going to take quite a while. See, that's these guys will heal themselves up. Oh, kill it, kill it, kill it. Damn it. Um, so these guys, one of them is healed by fire, but the others all take a decent chunk of damage from it, so uh, we want to just whittle these things down as quickly as we can. That stinks. Uh, so they will grab us and use that to uh, heal themselves. So we want to try to kill these things as quickly as possible. And it's okay that we're healing that one. Oh, nice. Good. Now we don't want them casting slow on us because that's pretty annoying. Keep using Fire Dance to try and uh, whittle down three of these. I think some of them can get killed by insta kills, but and then we'll uh, we'll just focus fire on that last one since he's at full health. He's not really getting anything from all this healing. The fact that, uh, yeah, that's annoying. The fact that Sabin has the um, running shoes on might actually be to his benefit. Ugh. Might actually be to his benefit because it might be preventing him from getting grabbed since they have to slow the enemy first. Ooh, that was weird. He just died. Alright, we're doing okay. I think we can uh we can stop doing the fire dance now. That guy's gotta be on his last leg. was a pretty beefy hit. <laughs> Alright, we got this pretty well in hand. It's not going to take much to bring this one down. If um if that fight goes badly early on though, it can be it can be <laughs> it can go really, really badly. Yay. And here he explains his whole plan. First thing he says to his brother. <laughs> and they just move on. It's the end of that fellow. Uh, 
so I don't know if that ends the... Alright, hold on. Actually get some gear on him. Oh, we get an extra pair of running shoes, he can he can use those. And does he need any spells? Oh, he doesn't know ice and bolt too. Interesting. Alright, put that on him. How's everybody's stats doing? Good, fine. I think everything's just empty in here. Yep. Do these do anything? Nope. No, no, I guess not. I guess we gotta fight our way out of here. Well, these guys are kinda new. These must be slightly less common enemies. I don't really remember them. dead enemies now. Don't chainsaw your... Uh. <laughs> Just don't chainsaw yourself. That's all I ask. Pretty sure you can actually one-hit kill yourself with the chainsaw. Alright. Let's get out of here. So now we've got three people in our party, and we're starting to feel like a like an actual team again. We don't have to worry about being constantly bushwhacked by crummy status effects or random encounters going poorly. <laughs> yeah, I fixed it, you jerk. Yay, the castle's up. But we don't want to stay here. We want to go to Collingen. <laughs> Off to our next adventure. We're almost to a, a pretty good point right now. Um, Alright. So. We've rescued Figaro. And I think this is a pretty good spot to, uh, to end things at. We've got three members of our team back. Everybody's doing pretty well. We got some espers. We found Terra. So I think we're in a good place. So next time we will uh, we will search for some more of our friends. So until then, I've been Mike, and uh, this has been Team Brothership, and I uh, I hope you have a great week. See you later. <laughs>